Hello, paper crafters. This is Carol from Chocolate Crafts and Bears Oh My, and today I'm coming to you with a project from Cottage Cuts Dies. We're having a blog hop today, and this is what I created as my creation for the blog hop. It is a um, lantern. It's for a wedding. It can be used for a uh, centerpiece or the more I look at it the more I like it as a cake top. So I know it's been a while since I've done some videos and I have another um, lantern to show you after this one and I'm going to do them two separately and I would like to thank those of you who have emailed me and asked me to do more videos. So um, I would like to grant your request so that's why I have this one today. So what I've made here is mostly from recycled pieces. Um, I used all cottage cut dies except for um, the lantern at the top and I want to say that it's, I keep calling it a lantern and when you hear me say lantern it's not actually what I mean it's um, actually called a luminary and it's this die right here this one is not from cottage cuts but it is the base that I used um, to make this so it's called a luminary 3D die and it does have a battery operated um, light in it and so I left it like this so that um, you can change out the light turn it on and off so what I have here is the top and it says wedding day and the wedding day is the expression dies and I put that on there in the background all the leaves are this die right here which is the Bella uh, leafy branch and I cut them out of green and I uh, used some distress inks to um, give some detail to the little um, leaves on here. This right here is another Cottage Cuts die and that one is called the Wedding Rings and uh, I did some uh, glitter on the diamond up there and some glitter on the little bow and put a little rhinestone in the center of that bow. The um, roses I have made from these stamps right here I think this is called a whale of a punch um, it's called a retro flower I think it's a Marvy punch and then I have this one for the center and what I did is I punched my flowers out on um, watercolor paper and then I just stretched the edges and put it together and then painted it with glue and glittered them so there's three of those uh, flowers up here with a little uh, bow in the back I don't know if you can see that and then I did some butterflies and that also is a cottage cut dye it's called the garden delight butterfly and they were uh, painted with glue and glittered as well and then this right here is the, let me see, I got it right here, it's called the Swans, very pretty, um, I glittered that as well, and then I will turn this around so you can see um, the lantern, I cut it out on heavy cardstock, white heavy cardstock paper, and then I went over the top of it, uh, cut up another set of um, these pieces in the paper I wanted and I went over the top of it and attached it and then I put the diamond bling around if you're interested in knowing how to put this together if you have the die just um, on YouTube in the search engine uh, do the Tim Holtz uh, luminary and there's a person that shows you how to put this together and then I went on the inside the, I did make acrylic windows and I went on the inside with white ink and smudged it to give it that uh, like glazed look in there and I like it better that way than plain I tried it both ways 
So that's the luminary. And then this piece right here was put together. Um, this comes off. This is part, this piece right here is part of the luminary um, that your uh, lantern fits over. And right down here, I use the Cottage Cuts doily, the tea time doily right here, um, on top of a, like a music paper. And then I glued this down. And around the, this right here is a Laughing Cow cheese box. I've got a gazillion of them. I know I do a lot of things with those Laughing Cow cheese boxes. And this is the die that I used. It's called the Wedding Border. This one is not in uh, this year's release, it's last year's release. And um, you can see I put it around the outside and I used some lace trim and on top of the lace trim I put the uh, rhinestone bling and then at the bottom of the box I put this uh, pearl trim and that goes all the way around. And then in the front I have the um, Bella let me see uh, what it's called. Yeah, the Bella Leafy Branch again behind the um, roses that I made with the watercolor paper and then another one of the pretty um, butterflies from the garden. It's called the Garden Delight Butterfly. And the cheese box is sitting on top of a uh, candle holder. It, uh, can you see that right there? It's a regular dollar store candle holder. Um, I did not get this one at the dollar store. I comb um, the thrift stores to try to get them for um, I guess I got this one for 39 cents and then I just wash them and, and paint them. So that's what that is, a candle holder. And um, this right here is some scrap wood. The base is some scrap wood that my husband had that I just uh, painted white and it's four it measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter of the base and there's no rhyme or reason for that it's just the piece of wood that we had and I wanted it perfectly squared so I had him cut it cut it four and a half by four and a half a uh, four and a quarter by four and a quarter because the extra piece was four and a quarter so I just had him make another cut at four and a quarter and then I put this wedding border around it on the bottom as well and then I used a rhinestone and then this right here is another cottage cut die it's called the um, the bridal bride and groom I'm sorry um, and it's just glued down in there and it, it stands up and I have another of the um, butterfly and then more of the roses and the bella leaf in the background and I did another uh, butterfly here and some more roses in the back um, to complete this and as you can see it's pretty shiny it just sparkles like crazy so this was a lot of fun to make um, if you are interested the re I got this idea for this because um, a very good friend of mine in Connecticut is getting married um, on Halloween and I wanted to make her something special so I made her um, two Halloween lanterns. They are the same configuration as this, but in a different uh, a different theme altogether. Uh, I did use this, but it's got skeletons and stuff. You need to see it. So I will leave um, the link bel below um, to my blog because I had already posted it on my blog, um, so you can see how that is and I'll just put the light in there so you can see it one more time um, when it is uh, I've got bright light in here right now uh, the sun is shining uh, but and in the evening this is so pretty lit up it's just gorgeous so I hope you enjoyed my project be sure to check the other girls design team projects out um, they were all use the the wedding release so thanks for watching and I will be back with another one of these lanterns. Thank you.